Hello friends, welcome to Squared Plans. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be creating these clear plastic dividers for our planners. I've got some old dividers here as a template as well as the plastic sheets ready to go as well as a hole punch here for my disc punch. I've got some scissors and a sharpie and a file just to kind of clean up those edges. So that said, let's jump in. Okay, so like I said, I have some old dividers here to use as a template. The plastic sheets that I got are from Amazon. I really just wanted a way to completely customize the style of dividers that I was going to want here in my planner and thought, why can't I make my own? And looked on Amazon for some plexiglass sheets. I will link the one that I'm using below so you guys can find it if you really like this one in particular. I think if I did this again, I would go with a slightly thinner plastic. This one is still very easy to cut. It's flexible, but it's pretty thick. And so when I was actually pushing it into my planner, it tended to bend a little bit near the middle where the force was kind of pushing on the hole punches pretty strongly. So that said, I think I would have went a little bit skinnier, make it a little easier on myself. And as you can see here, I'm already starting to cut. I've outlined the Sharpie template right onto the blue film that protects it. So I don't have to worry about that. That's all gonna come off in a minute. I can just draw right on it, use it as a, a guide, and then when I'm all said and done, I can get rid of the blue film and it should be all clean and ready to go. So I'm using, like I said, my guillotine cutter here to cut off the edges just slightly. It gets a little bit stuck there near the middle, but it is a lot easier to start with that and just kind of clean up the cut versus trying to do the whole thing by hand. I have pulled out some long scissors here, so it would make it a little bit easier to cut long straight lines. I usually use smaller scissors, but for this project, the long scissors were really helpful. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut nearly everything out except for just that small edge, rounded edge around the tabs. Now you don't have to do that yourself if you want to have just a straight flat cut for your edges. That would be fine. It will probably be a little bit easier too. It did take a little bit of effort for me to round some of these corners. And since I've already done one, I only needed to do three more. Five sheets came in the pack. So you would be able to do five dividers out of one pack. And the approximate cost was about $10, a little bit short of $10 US. So that's not bad. I've seen a lot of dividers out there that are, you know, upwards of $20, $25. Granted, you can customize them and usually there's some kind of added benefit, not just the dividers, you know, they're nice and clean and cut and ready to go. but I am a DIY queen and I'm also very cheap. <laughs> so I love to try to do things myself and try to achieve the same results with less money. So that is definitely one of the facets of me and my channel. If you are interested in that kind of stuff, check out all my DIYs. They're all along those same lines. I try to create something really cool and useful, but on the cheap. So I am just trimming out the corners here on these tabs, kind of rounding them out, mainly with the scissors to start. And then once I kind of get an idea of everything mapped out and ready to go, I will go back through with the file and actually soften up those edges a bit. Now, I wanna make sure that I have everything in line and that everything is the right size, just kind of checking things out. And like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and file the main areas where it's a little bit more jagged or my cut wasn't too smooth, and also the corners a tiny bit. You can round the corners yourself using like a punch or even just using the scissors, but 
I kind of like the square edges. I just don't want it to be so sharp that, you know, it could actually snag on something. So I'm just filing it down so it's just slightly rounded, a little bit softer. And definitely sanding the rounded edges I created with the scissors on the tabs. And this is just a basic nail file. Probably would do better with something a little bit heavier grit on the file itself. This one kept getting kind of ripped into because it was a pretty fine grit, but I didn't want to use one that I actually use normally on my nails. This one is kind of like an old one. So I just picked it up and tried that one out and wasn't really worried if I kind of destroyed it here. So just an FYI there on the file. I'm using this Crocodile Power Disc Punch that I picked up last year. And it is great for materials like this that are kind of heavy and really just not the kind of thing that a happy planner punch or an arc disc punch might go through easily. So I'm using that and I've was always kind of concerned how to start the very first hole. And then I realized there is a ruler on that little stick out there that has you for a guide. So you just have to use the halfway point on that and you're ready to go to get started. So I kind of made a little Sharpie mark in there. I don't know if you guys got a chance to see that just so I can easily tell what mark I should start on, but it's basically that little midway point and you just line it up, start it off, and then the rest is pretty easy just aligning it with the preset hole there on the disc punch. So I'm going to go ahead and finish punching all of these guys and it really wasn't hard at all. The plastic, like I said, is not that thick. It's definitely cuttable, but I might in the future try this again with a thinner plastic just for fun. So now we're all set. So I'm going to go ahead and strip down all of that protective blue film that's on top of them. It's on the front and the back, so you have to make sure you do that. And now you can kind of see it's a very shiny plastic. One thing I'm excited about is the option of adding like dashboards or something behind these. Kind of start off the sections. And okay, so that is it, friends. All you need to do to make these gorgeous clear dividers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye!